I believe that Kafka is going to be absolutely busted. And I'm also very surprised that her trailer has not been released yet, or better said, her demo, whatever you want to call it. It's still not been released yet. Horrors, where is it? I know Genshin just dropped a 4.0 video for the preview, but still, where is the Kafka demo? Everybody, and I mean everybody, is going for her. In the meantime though, I'm making this quick video while I'm waiting solely because I want to give an idea as to what a Kafka team could look like that isn't just DOT. Because I think that she has a huge amount of versatility in regarding her team comps and how powerful she can really be. The moment I learned of Kafka's talent trace, I immediately thought this is busted. The ability to just do a follow-up attack upon an ally doing a normal attack is absolutely insane. Especially because it means that while you're recovering skill points, you get a benefit of extra damage and an extra action. Which, for those that put low shot, you guys will be very happy because you're getting a free heal on top of that, which I think is just absolutely insane. Like, way beyond insane, in my opinion, and I love that. So a team that I was personally thinking about that could resist a lot of damage while still being able to dish out massive and massive amounts of damage at the same time is perhaps a team that includes Clara, Locha, Kafka, and the third character could be almost anybody. Because with a base foundation of these three characters, you have heals for days. They attack Clara, you heal. Your normal attack to try to get a skill point, you heal. You're actually dying, you have extra skill points to use with Locha to heal. And then another third character could be anybody. Like I said, it can be Sample, so that your Kafka does more damage and you have a way to whittle down an opponent so much easier. It could be Ting Yun, which, you know, your follow up attacks are going to do more damage, might as well go off. It's going to be so that you do much more damage. And the DOT is also increased. It's not the best, but it's still good. Of course, Luke is going to be busted because being able to apply the Laceration debuff on an enemy. And then, on top of that, being able to cause bleed, and then Kafka's skill being able to just cause it to do a proc is absolutely beautiful. And I genuinely believe that the four-piece Thunder set is, more, is probably going to be the best option for Kafka, because you want to be using that skill to be able to trigger those DOTs over and over and over again for an extra time, and you have the benefit that the relic set gives you an extra attack percentage every time you use a skill for one turn, which, as far as I know, doesn't get consumed whenever you do a follow-up attack, which is something you're going to do between Kafka's turns anyways. So you might as well pop off and also increases your DOT between turns, which again, absolutely beautiful because you do even more damage the longer the match goes. And I just love that. At the end of the day, though, this is purely speculative. As I said, Kafka's demo has not even been released out yet. All I know is from the information we got from the live stream, and I'm still waiting for the demo. Hoivers, where is it? I'm hoping that by tonight it is. If this upload is going up on Monday, which ideally should be the case. And yeah, I just hope that everybody that's going for Kafka does get them. And let me know in the comments down below what you think might be Kafka set or what is, depending on, you know, if you're watching this video when Kafka has released, which is very likely, honestly. Anyways, I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your days, and I'll see you guys in the next time. I really hope that I can start doing some YouTube videos. This is like a very low quality one, I do admit that, but I want to try to make one weekly upload at least. And that's going to be the goal for this channel that I have neglected, as you all have seen. But I definitely, definitely want to get into it, and thank you very much for watching once again. Bye-bye.